Hey there guys, McFlurry here again, and today I'm back at it with another video. And today I'm going to do a My Thoughts video on Godzilla vs. Kong. This is kind of going to be a little bit of a short video, maybe not, but I'm going to talk about the film and that stuff. Um, what did I think about it? My Thoughts video. Because I gave out basically my MonsterVerse ranking video, and I talked to you guys about my own personal opinions about Godzilla number 13, Kong Skull Island, and Godzilla King of the Monsters. So, I think I'll do like a little ranking thing with this. And, um, I saw Godzilla vs. Kong, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. So, what are my thoughts on this movie? One word. Two words. It's awesome. <laughs> Two words. It's an awesome... Three words. It's an awesome movie. Four words, I guess. I don't know. Whatever with that. Um, I really like this film. It's... Now... Alright, so... The big question is... Do I... What do I like better? Godzilla King of the Monsters. Because you guys know... That it is my favorite MonsterVerse film. Does Godzilla vs. Kong beat it and take the title? Yeah. It does, and now Godzilla vs. Kong is my favorite MonsterVerse film. However, I wouldn't say it's necessarily way better, or so much better than Godzilla King of the Monsters, like most people are saying. I'll say it beats it by a hair. For me, at least. Because, in my own personal opinion, I like the soundtrack and King of the Monsters better, you know... Plus, you know, I just, I don't know, I just got a bit more of that epic feeling from Godzilla King of the Monsters than this film. And I, the credits scene is better, and that stuff. And I do, um, yeah, other things too. However, I do like this film better, and I'll say the fights, I like the fight scenes better. Um, King Kong, obviously. And... The third kaiju, which I'm not going to spoil. Alright. So, and other things too. Um, like, uh, well, we do get to something unique. We do get to see Godzilla fight in the day <laughs> with another monster, <laughs> at least. And it's more of a fun thrill ride than King of the Monsters is has more action, more monsters in it, in terms of screen time and that stuff. So, yeah. And, just, yeah, I say the fight scenes are better because y you can see them and they're more, you know, I feel like it's King Kong fighting Godzilla. You can't go wrong with that. And one of the most important reasons why this is my favorite monster as well, it's King Kong fighting Godzilla. That's become a reality again. And first of all, if you want to know about it, this is my favorite movie. Um, my favorite versus movie of all time. Yeah, my own personal opinion. This is just my own personal opinion. Better than the original King Kong vs. Godzilla. Better than Alien vs. Predator. Better than Freddy vs. Jason. My Definitely better from Batman vs. Superman. Alright, so... My thoughts on... The original King Kong vs. Godzilla. Great classic. Great classic vs. movie. I like it. Freddy vs. Jason? I really like it. It's a good vs. movie. And Alien vs. Predator? I don't care what anybody says. I like Alien vs. Predator. I know a lot of you guys are going to leave hate comments on that, but I don't care. This is, this is opinions, after all. You know? If you don't like the movie, that's fine. I... I, li I like Freddy vs. Jason a bit better because I like the fight scenes better in that movie. Batman vs. Superman. Of course, you guys are going to hit the dislike button on this, too. I actually didn't mind Batman vs. Superman that much. I actually didn't like the movie. It's, it's not like I actually didn't like the movie. I thought it was okay, you know? Not my favorite, but... You know, I, I kind of liked it, you know? But I'm not a DC guy. I'm more of a Marvel guy. Um, then we get to this movie, which just completely, in my opinion, just blows all these movies out of the water. These, all these versus movies. Yes, even the original King Kong vs. Godzilla, because... 
because it's just it's just good to get a modernization of the actual fight between King Kong and Godzilla. You know, you don't have to if you want to see these two fight, you don't have to go back and watch the <laughs> the classy 1960s fight over again. It's fun, you know, but that was back then. You know, it's it's good. It's time for a <laughs> remaster now. Basically, like. Like, how this fight would take place in the modern time. Because it'll make it, make it more interesting. And plus, you know, that was the time where Godzilla wasn't as much of a character. And that was the time where King Kong was just being treated more like a monster. Not that much character and that stuff. So... But here, now, the characters are much more advanced. Godzilla, he's, he's got all these powers, abilities, and that stuff. Kong, he's he's becoming more of a develop, a character. Even Godzilla, too. So, Godzilla has gotten a bigger franchise ever since, becoming way more popular. And, you know, King Kong, he's becoming a bit more powerful, too, since the old movies. And, you know... And we actually get modern takes on King Kong now. <laughs> and we've been getting Godzilla movies for a while now. Of course. <laughs> so. Be very interesting. And we finally got it. And it's great. You know. And the funny thing. From what I remember. Alien vs. Predator. Had. 23% audience rating. Freddy vs. Jason had 50% audience rating. And King Kong, Godzilla vs. Kong, as it stands right now, it has 92% audience rating. This movie completely blows three of them, all, all two of the versus movies, out of the water. So yeah. So the film? Alright, so improvements with the film. Like, not improvements, what am I saying? Um, Kong in this movie? They improved him a lot from Kong Skull Island. It's like the same thing comparing Godzilla 2014, what he was in 2014, and then comparing him to what Godzilla is in the MonsterVerse now, like in 2019's Godzilla King of the Monsters in this movie. Major improvement. He's more sympathetical, sympathetical now. He's more... He has more character, more emotions. He's more expressive. He has more character development. And he, he actually treat him like a sympathetical animal, which is my favorite type of attitude of King Kong. And Kong Squilin, you really didn't like him that much of the, as the hero. You did like him, but you didn't really get that feeling like Peter Jackson's King Kong. You, you, he felt really heroic. This film, he was very heroic in this film. You enjoyed him, really enjoyed him being the hero. And, and another thing... He even, he even acts like Peter Jackson's King Kong at points, where he's more animalistic, he walks on all fours like a gorilla, bipedal like a gorilla, he, he, um, he looks more gorilla-ish like, like, look at this figure here. Minus the, the black, um, uh, fur, because that's not how he looks, this is more like... Like, he, he, see, he looks like he has a bit more longer arms. He's more muscular. His legs look a bit shorter, to be honest, too. And, yeah, Kong major improvement. And even has more character and emotion. So, and plus, Kong having a connection with the child is an interesting t new take on the new character rather than it being a, you know, the classic story with a fully grown woman and that stuff. So yeah, it does something new, and fun fact, that was originally supposed to be a thing for the original King Kong vs. Godzilla sequel, so that was very interesting, although it's more like a kid, not like a baby or anything, instead of a baby, it's a kid, so, and Kong was much more bad butt in this movie than Kong Skull Island, and it's my favorite attitude to King Kong, he's... He's, he's ferocious, he's a savage, he's a brute, and he's aggressive, 
but he's also he has he has a lot of heart he has character he has emotions he can feel and that stuff and he can be a gentle giant and that stuff godzilla you know he's cool as he was in king of the monsters <laughs> but he went back to his classic roots this time and now he's basically destroying stuff but just like we never got that in the wild and very interesting and unique to see unique to see godzilla monster vs goji destroying stuff and according to that line that famous line Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. When you watch the movie, I don't want to say this because it's spoilers. Um, yeah. <laughs> you would find out why when you watch the movie. And with uh, the villain Kaiju in this movie, he's my favorite MonsterVerse villain. <laughs> I know I'm spoiling a bit too much here, but I really, I really like I really like him. You know, he's... I, I, They did him good in this movie. It's not like with, you know... In my opinion, it actually works. The whole, like, spoiler alert, you know, the whole thing... You know what I'm talking about, but I'm trying not so hard not to get into that because this is a spoiler-free video. But the climax of this movie. <laughs> Let's just say that. And... Um, you actually did get to see Godzilla and King Kong do something. That is actually very cool. I'm just gonna say that. Alright, so... The human characters, I feel like they're... They're kind of the same, really. They're... Although, I won't say they're terrible. They're... Gia's obviously the best one. I like the... The character... I forgot his name... But he has, like, Hayes. I'm just gonna call him Hayes. Um, I found him very funny in the movie. I liked him. <laughs> My second favorite character. The other characters, they were all cool. They're all good. Um, um, okay, I was very surprised. Well, spoiler alert. I guess I'll say this. One well, spoiler alert. I'm surprised Ren Serizawa was treated more like a side character in this movie. I, you think he'll be a, playing a big role, one of the main characters, but surprisingly not. He does not play that much of a big role. He's treated more like a side character, which is interesting. Um, but very cool how they at least explain how Serizawa has a son and that stuff. And he kind of what connects Sarazawa's story and that stuff. And the story of the film, I thought, was really cool. And there are some references to the old school King Kong vs. Godzilla in this. And the Toho movies of Godzilla. And maybe some King Kong. You know, some King Kong films. And, you know, the fight scenes were cool. They were great. And I already said my favorite of the MonsterVerse. This movie is crazy. It's a fun thrill ride. So yeah. That's basically... um. So yeah, the characters in this movie... They're... You know, same as Kong Squirrel and Godzilla King of the Monsters. You know, they're okay. They're good. But my favorite is... Uh, my favorite on Team Kong is Gia. And my favorite on Team Godzilla is the Haze. The Haze dude. Yeah. I forgot his name, but, you know. Yeah. Alright, so, that's basically my opinion. Oh, yeah, the soundtrack, too. The soundtrack, I like it better than Godzilla 2014, Kong Skull Island. Not better than Godzilla King of the Monsters, but I do like, I do like it a lot. And, spoiler again, you would hear Godzilla's theme, and... Sadly, spoiler alert, there are no Akira Fukube themes in this film. But however, hearing Godzilla's theme, you would notice the bum, 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 bum. Then it cuts to like a different tone of the song, the music. So, so they kind of fit it in there somehow, like made a reference to it. So yeah. My opinion, I gave... Alright, so... Apparently, I gave Godzilla's number 14 a 7 out of 10. 
I give Cogs Island an 8 out of 10, and I gave Godzilla King of the Monsters a 9 out of 10. I give this film a 9 out of 10. Yes, I know I like this film better than Godzilla King of the Monsters, but I do give them the 9 out of 10 rating, both of them. But I do, even though I give both of them the 9 out of 10 rating, I do like this film a bit more. Just a bit, like by a hair. So yeah. Sorry if I sound like a bit like stuffy and that stuff is because I have these allergies. I'm sick. So yeah, but I'm just getting better, you know. So yeah. And I'm gonna quickly go over the toys I have here. This is just like a my thoughts video. An update to the Godzilla Monster vs. Ranking video. <coughs> sorry. Oh gosh. That's embarrassing. But sorry about that, but yeah, basically, an update to the Godzilla Monsterverse ranking video and the Godzilla collection and Monsterverse collection video. So, yeah, I got all the figures here. Um, so, yeah, let me first, one, first start off with the first one I ever got, which was this guy right here. I'm really sorry if I keep sniffing. Um, yeah, here he is. Heat Ray Godzilla. I really like the, I really like the translucent spikes there, they're all blue, I like the atomic breath, yeah, the eyes are weird on both Godzilla figures, but okay, but they did the eyes so much better on here, the big figure, so yeah, very cool figure, ugh, and there goes the radio tower. I'll cover the Godzilla ones first. Um, so yeah. It comes with the radio tower accessory. The radio tower Godzilla. Very nice. And I'm already using these. <laughs> for my stop motions and that stuff. Here is the radio tower Godzilla. Basically the same figure. But a different variant. I don't know which one to I like better. I don't know. Some people don't like the blue on the body, but I really do. I actually do. So yeah. And this is what he looks like holding the radio tower. Never got to see him do this in the movie. I never don't I don't remember anything having to do with the radio tower, but I don't know, maybe I missed it, but I don't remember anything to be honest. So spoiler alert, I guess. Um yeah. So yeah, that's the radio tower Godzilla. And I wanna quickly talk about the CGI. Um, I'm sorry guys, but the CGI looks to me the same in every MonsterVerse film. Like, I only see a slight difference. And the CGI is that I can definitely say that the CGI is better in this movie than Godzilla King of the Monsters. That's another thing. So here is Kong. Um, is Battle Axe? At first, I was against the Battle Axe, but... Because I prefer, like, the King Kong, like, fight a man to man and that stuff. Sure, like, Kong's, like, he can hold his own, like, very good against a fight. Um, like, against a more powerful opponent in the battlefield. It shows his courage, his heart, his bravery and that stuff. However, you can still get that in this movie. And the battle axe? I've, I come to like this. A very bad butt thing. Very... Very cool and bad, but how Kong uses this. And this makes Kong even cooler in the movie. And I do like this. This is my favorite way of Kong standing a chance against Godzilla. Because this, the axe is the most logical way. Because since apes, aka primates, can use tools and that stuff. And this is the most logical, most coolest way. Other than the ridiculous ideas of... Him having lightning powers, or in the cancel 1990 film, him be being, being getting turned into a cyborg. Yeah, I know this might sound weird, guys. Weird, but I just prefer Godzilla when he's unrealistic. I prefer Kong when he's when he's realistic. I know that may sound weird, but I don't know. It's just my opinion. I know you guys. You, you, some of you probably out there probably understand where I'm coming from. I know, but 
what's a realistic about a a giant 300 foot tall gorilla huh <laughs> more grounded and a bit more realistic i guess you should say um so yeah this is my favorite way of conk standing a chance and the figure itself the figure is probably i can definitely agree that it is the best um um figure of the first wave in my opinion at least and hands down this is my favorite kong figure out of my collection yes i know peter jackson's 2005 still holds it as my favorite king kong design in which this new king kong comes a second close and however i do like this figure better than the previous playmates king kong figures like 2017 one and even the old 2005 peter jackson ones because the peter jackson's ones are pretty gimmicky so that's not a terrible thing with the figures but i really do like those figures i really do but they're very good figures but i think i like this one just because you know better articulation them and it's less gimmicky so yeah plus it goes better scale with more of your figures as well i feel like at least in my opinion from what the figures i have so yeah there is the playmates kong sorry guys i really hate to keep sniffing a lot all right so here is mr skull crawler spoiler who had a small role in this <laughs> a small role but however he was cool and he has a good figure i really like this figure it definitely it definitely blows the skull the kong skull island one out of the water the lanard the one from lanard Very interesting look. New look with the red and that stuff. I really like Skull, this Skull Crawler figure. Really cool, and you can open his jaws really wide, but you can make it look cool like Kong broke its jaws and that stuff. And here is the Hollow Earth anti gravity vehicle. Focus. Come on. Good. So there is the Hollow Earth anti gravity vehicle. Now we get to the big giant Kong. I really like this guy. This figure. Very good as a figure. I like this guy as a figure. Alright, so. Yeah, he's pretty hard to move. But I do really like this 12 inch figure. And I also like this guy as well. At first, I thought he was just a clone of the Jack Specific 12 inch 2019 Godzilla. But he's actually different. And plus, you can maybe use him for something cool like. Like, you, like, uh. You can use the Jack Specific one as a standard, like, basic Godzilla. Um. You can make it look like this one. He's charging his atomic breath. And he's ready to shoot. Like you can use it as cool. Or as intimidation display. So yeah. Very cool. And I am definitely aware. That the, the wave 2 figures. Are out. And I would really like to get those. But sadly. It looks like they're not in my Walmart yet. So. I'm going to try to. Attempt to find them one more time. Then I'm. After that, I'm probably going to wait a while. Because, you know. And from what they look like, they look like they're pretty cool. Warbat is interesting. Yeah, he's a pretty cool kaiju. Um, and of course, the third kaiju. <laughs> you know how I'm talking about. I know it's revealed already. It's a spoiler thing. But I, I just don't want to give it away still. Because you may never know. Alright. So, yeah. It's my favorite MonsterVerse movie now, and it takes that title as my favorite MonsterVerse movie. I, that came out very weird, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so, 
Let me know your thoughts and opinions. What do you think of the movie? Very interested to hear your thoughts. And which is your favorite figure out of this collection here? And and uh, what are your thoughts on the Playmates figures? Very interested to hear your thoughts and opinions. So yeah, um, stay tuned for more, more Toy Show videos. I'll try to get some um let's play the let's play videos out sorry i'm trying to avoid coughing here I'm trying to get some new let's play videos out been a long time so yeah that's pretty much it here and maybe maybe get some stop motion battles out maybe maybe so yeah that's it stay tuned for more and as McClurry always says, peace out.